My name is Mike Mills, and um, I'm an artist and a filmmaker. My piece is really a bunch of portraits of Los Altos. I'm always interested in history, and historical stories are sort of hidden in our everyday life. So I try to focus on how can I talk about history in the present and the future uh, in Los Altos. To sort of represent the past, we are reprinting the local newspaper, the town crier, from the week of April 7th, 1976, which is the week when Apple Computers was incorporated there in Los Altos. And we're also printing the original Apple contract with it. I like presenting these two very open-ended historical documents and letting people develop their own reverberations between the two. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak uh, created Apple computers in Steve Jobs' parents' garage right there in Los Altos, which is a kind of amazing, epic, seminal moment. And it very much belongs in Los Altos. It's the seed of a whole economy and culture and like need in all of us our sort of technological appetite, which is very much at odds with uh, an older Los Altos, this sort of sleepy, small town community that isn't so sort of product driven. And computers back then were like a strange hobby. It speaks to like the wild unpredictability of, of looking into the future or what's gonna happen with the ingredients we have right now in our culture or our life. When I got sort of researching Silicon Valley, I was really interested in all the futurologists and the futurists. So I thought, well, it's interesting to talk about the future with the people who are actually going to be inhabiting it more. So I am doing a video piece that consists of all kids from like age 8 to 12 whose parents work in the tech industry from very high levels to one of them, the father works as a cook at Google, and I'm interviewing them about their predictions of the future. And what was surprising is it's kind of dark. It's a bit dark. Though so many of the kids think that in the future there's not gonna be much nature. There's not gonna be animals. People are gonna be not as smart as they are now. There's gonna be amazing technology, but the natural world is really gonna diminish and suffer. And they're not happy about it, but they also don't see a lot of ways out. They felt a little bit resigned to it. And what could you do? I mean, as a nine-year-old, 10-year-old, how else could you feel? I feel a little bit resigned to it as a 47-year-old. Um, but it's really spooky hearing that response from a 10-year-old. And obviously, anytime you ask anybody about the future, you're really just talking about the present. Because none of us can really predict the future. And all of our predictions about the future are really just a reflection of the stories we're living in now.